Hello everyone, welcome to video 6, chapter 4. In this video, we'll cover chapter 4.3, which contains examples and interpretations about the connection between the original problem and its dual. We'll take a look at one example. This is example 4.3.2 in the textbook. So, the original problem is a production model for producing oil. Here is the situation. You are an oil producer, and uh, there are three types of oil, three grades of oil that you will produce, and they're called uh, the regular one, special one, and the super one. So if you drive a car, probably you're familiar with these terms, and then you know the these are in order of uh, the quality of the oil. And let's say now you have um, three um, processes, one and two and three, okay? And uh, in the, the main part of the table, here are the um, amount unit of the oil this processor can do in one unit of time. So process one can make three units of regular, four units of special, and two units of super oil. And then process two will have six, six, eight as the amount it can produce per unit of time. And process three has six, three, four. Okay. And in the last column would be the cost to run the processor for an hour. So processor one, the cost is $160 per hour. Let's say hour is the unit of time. And processor number two can do more, but it's more expensive to run it. And processor three is uh, in between. And then um, you also have a um, minimum requirement. So you have to produce at least this amount of regular and this amount of special and this amount of super three grades of oil. Okay, so take a look at the table and get yourself familiar with the setting. Okay, now let's look at the problem from the producer's viewpoint. Let's define three variables, x1, x2, and x3. These will be number of hours, the unit of time, to use the processors 1, 2, and 3, respectively. That's why I put x1, x2, x3 in the corresponding place. And then um, the objective for the producer is to um, minimize your cost and then at the same time meet the basic requirement. Okay. So what is your cost? Well, so it's this number dot product your variable. So that amount will be the cost of running those three processes with those time. Okay, and then you have the constraint, the constraint you obtain along each column. So the first column, the regular oil with x1, x2, x3 as the number of processor, you will make 3 times x1, 6 times x2, 6 times x3, add them up, they shall be at least 36, so bigger than or equal to 36. Okay, that's the first constraint. And the second constraint comes from this column for the special grade oil, and the third constraint comes from this column, the super grade oil, and of course all the variables here are restricted. Okay, so this is a, a minimization problem. We now um, will formulate the dual for this minimization problem. Okay, so we have talked about how to form a dual. We have this big summary of table, and once we follow that, so for each constraint, we introduce a variable. So we have y1, y2, y3, three of them. Then we'll be maximizing this row dot the unknown. 
okay and subject to the constraint now the constraints goes horizontally and then you have less than equal sign for a maximization problem and the second constraint comes from the second row and then you get here and the third constraint comes from the third row and then y1 y2 y3 they are also restricted okay so um what is interesting here would be um to um come up with an interpretation of this maximization problem okay so here is an interpretation so let's say you take this oil and you will sell them on the market what price should you charge on each type of oil such that it's worthwhile to produce and yet you want to maximize your profit okay then um, the variables y1 y2 y3 would be the price of each oil y1 for regular y2 for special and y3 for super respectively and then um what um would be the um profit well the profit would be okay so this is what you would produce right you have to meet the requirement so 36 y1 20 y2 30 y3 that's what you would make you want to maximize that and then you have your constraints so the constraint now goes horizontally so if a uh, y1 is price uh, regular is price y1 and this is y2 this is y3 and then you add them all up and that should be less than the cost of using the machine okay so um so this less than equal sign here for this constraint um is because um, one or both of the other processes might produce at a lower price so you cannot have it bigger than that number okay so this is uh, one way of viewing the dual problem from the opposite side of the problem and from a minimization problem turns into a maximization problem okay okay so i um assign a reading homework again to read example 4.3.3 in your textbook on your own and uh, try to understand the setting as well okay hope you enjoy this video i will see you next time